seventh grade welcome to a Mr. McEwen uh, GIMP tutorial. Um, I'm going to kind of show you some things that you can do in your final design. Um, we did a lot of practice with GIMP but um, <clears throat> I'm going to show you a, a few things kind of like in the redesign uh, photos so that you can kind of apply some of the things you learned in Criterion A. Um, first thing is there's two different types of GIMP. There's GIMP 210, which is this black one, if you downloaded it from the inter um, from the self-service. This is the old GIMP. Um, I would, I'd suggest downloading this one because it's a little faster. Um, it's got some improvements. But do you see how the icons are different? These are kind of symbols and these have some color to it. I find it easier in the old GIMP that these blue ones are when you you use for a selection to like change it, rotate it, size it, um, perspective it, and then you have the things at the top for for creating selections, and then things at the bottom for making changes. So if you go into GIMP 2.10 and go to Preferences, you say not now, and down here in the interface, if you come down to Icon Theme, you can click on the Legacy button right here. And it changes them. I like think to think this changes them back to the old ones. So then we'll just say OK, and then we will open this up. OK. So here I've got an example of something that you probably will want to do. Um, let me just click on here. We've got um, a picture, and we've got uh, something that I've added on here. I've removed a poster there. Oh, I can show you real quick. Boom, boom. So that's what it was before. So I've done two things to this so far. I've created a layer called Remove Poster. And then I've added a tree in here. Okay. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Um, let's see. I've got some more things that I want to try to add in to different, to different parts of pictures. So I'm just going to go ahead and open these with GIMP 2.10. There we go. There's that one. This cafeteria table. I'm going to go ahead and add that one. And I'm going to add the coffee bar. Control click or whatever you double double tap and open. So now I've got everything I need. Anything that I want to add into the picture, I've got it up here. I've got some symbols. I've got some actual pictures here that I'm going to work around. Okay, um, and they're ready to go. I basically have lots of files open. So let's take a look at this one. So I'm just going to leave these two on there, but I'm going to create a new layer to show you how I removed that poster. I'm going to call it Remove Poster. So I'm using a layer. I'm not drawing on the, the actual image here. So I had to flip between them to do different things. So here is the image. I'm going to use the clone tool. We did this quite a bit. And I'm coming over the brush is the rectangle. And if you, you can see there's the big rectangle. It's too big. So I'm going to kind of grab it, make it a little smaller. That's still too big. I'm just going to type it in. Let's go 200. That's pretty good. All right, so I'm going to clone an area here, which is really actually pretty good. Click here, control click. That sets the area. And then I click over on my remove poster, and I just swipe down. Not too bad for a quick remove. Hmm. I could be very much, I could be a lot more careful with this. But it's good for right now. I'm going to put something in front of it. I could also come back to the picture and say, oh, you know what? This is a, make this a little smaller. This is a better place to clone over here. Right. This side, I could clone like this. Set the space. And yeah, that color, actually, that color looks a little bit better. OK. Mm -hmm. So I've, I, I haven't actually removed anything from the main picture. I just covered it up with another layer. And this that's what the layer looks like. So I can use these eyeballs to uh, see what I've changed. 
I can use the smudge tool kind of to change the color actually change to this smudgy looking one right here make it a little bit bigger just kinda will help it make it look a little bit better okay yeah okay so that I removed the poster now I want to add in something so I'm gonna just go ahead and create a layer right away and this is gonna be add um, tree let's add a tree okay there's the add tree layer I, I've already done this but I'm, I'm gonna show you how to add one let's see I've got this one here so now we need to select the tree but I don't want the white background because the the white background is going to um, make it look fake I just want the colored parts um, Okay, actually, let me show you on this one. Really, it's really easy. So, there's so many different ways you can do it. All these different selection tools. I could use a rectangle, but that's not going to look really good. Select none. This select is very important when you need to deselect things. Uh, the fuzzy select. If you just click it, it it looked at, it basically looked at the white and it has selected everything but the different colors so the white is all selected there's actually select by color too so I'm gonna edit none select none and then select by color if I click on that it thinks it did the same thing it selected all the white and if I actually just do command copy and command paste look what happens it pasted just the white into a floating layer that's not what I want so I'm gonna back up I'm gonna go back to this what I want is the black and the gray so I want everything it didn't select so come up to the select button and click invert and what it does is it changes it's everything that wasn't selected is now selected and everything that was selected is not selected so now I can just do a command C go back to my picture command V it's in a floating layer right there it's sitting here okay this is what I want to do uh, I want to move it I want to change its perspective I might want to make it bigger this is what all these blue icons do okay so here's the move icon so if I click on that I can move it around oops 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 okay I have to be very careful I'm going to use um, shift plus to get in closer okay because I have to grab it by the selection or it moves the whole whole thing so all right so let me back out with minus so those are not big enough so I'm going to click on the scale tool which is this one over here and I'm going to click very carefully on the selection and I'm going to make it bigger I'm going to zoom out a little bit more, make it bigger, and make these big palm trees. Then in the middle I can just kind of move it around. I don't want to touch the uh, the art there. Okay, hit enter, and that puts it down. Uh, I don't know, that, that looks pretty good right there. If, if I'm good, then I'm just going to layer it. Yeah, yeah. You get in there.